Hey guys, Garrett here, and I want to continue my ICF series, and today we're going to talk about the penetrations that are going to go through your wall. I'm not talking about doors or windows or things like that. I'm talking about like pipes, vents, electrical, things like that. Basically anything that's going to go through the wall that needs to be pre-planned before the concrete is actually placed in the wall. As I've said in some of my other videos, planning is king with this. So you're going to want to know exactly where every penetration is going to go through your wall prior to putting that concrete in place. So plan, plan, plan. Once you know the location of all of your penetrations, there's a couple things to think about. Whenever you are actually putting them at the wall, make sure they don't come into contact with any of the plastic webs within the blocks themselves. Those are easily identifiable on about every block out there, so it's pretty easy to offset if you need to. The other thing is you don't want to come in contact with any rebar. Horizontal rebar is pretty darn easy because you know it's going to be within about the top 20% of the block. Vertical rebar, you have no idea exactly where it is. So my suggestion is to put all those penetrations in place through the wall before you thread any of that vertical rebar in place. The first penetration I want to talk about is the sewer line. Now, some people's is going to be underneath their slab or underneath the basement slab, and this is not for you guys. I'm talking about the ones that need to go actually through the wall. In my case, I did have to go through the wall with the sewer line. I do have a basement, but I have a lift pump that then gets it up to grade to go through and then out to my lagoon. So if you're like me, then you're gonna have to go through the wall. Per my plumber's advice, he said, go ahead and get a piece of pipe as well as two couplings. He said, then cut this to length to whatever it's gonna be, add the couplings to it, and then that total length should be the thickness of your walls. That way, then you don't have a piece of pipe that's sticking way out one side and way out the other side. You can just plug in to that penetration. And of course, when you stick it through the wall, make sure that you actually have a little bit of grade on it so that it flows out of the house. Once your pipe is cut, you have the couplings and they are glued in place. Just take the whole unit, put it against the inside of your wall and draw around it with a magic marker. Once you've drawn around it, put a vertical line and a horizontal line in approximately the top center as well as the side centers and that gives you your approximate middle location. Once you do that, take a nice long either auger bit or like a concrete bit, something that's long enough to get through your walls and drill all the way through. This will transfer that inside marking to the outside. You'll have a pilot hole at that point. And again, remember if it's something like a sump pump or a, a, a sewer line that has to have a little bit of grade, make sure you drill at a slight angle. Once your pilot hole is in place, you have a couple of options. I suggest just keeping it simple. The best one, or at least I think it is, is just a drywall saw. Cut your hole out. Uh, if you are so inclined, you can always use a hole saw like this. Just get it started by hand. Again, you're just going through foam, so it's not like it's, it's real tough to get these things started but just get it by hand. It's not gonna be deep enough to go all the way through your foam, but it's gonna get quite a ways. And it's gonna give you a perfect circle. Once you've bottomed it out, pull it back out, use your drywall saw, and then cut the rest of it. That technique is pretty much gonna to apply to any of the round holes that you need to make in your walls. I didn't have to put any square holes or triangles or anything like that. They were all round and therefore that's the method that I used. Once your hole's in place, go ahead and slide your sewer line or your conduit or whatever it is that's being put into that wall in place and then hit it with a little bit of spray foam around it. If there's any big uh, gaps or anything around that pipe, go ahead and fill those with spray foam. But even a few dabs on the inside and the outside will hold it in place. You'll be fine. You shouldn't lose any of the pipes and you shouldn't lose any of the concrete coming out. There are some pipes that I would suggest not putting directly through the wall, and I mean that before the pour. 
uh, for example, like your water line. You're going to want to put that water line in a piece of conduit. So in my case, it was an inch and a quarter water line that was coming into the house, so I put a two inch conduit through the wall. That way, if I ever did need to replace it, I can easily just slide one back and forth. I'll show you a little bit more on this, how I actually did it in my house. You're definitely going to want to use conduit for electrical, again, any, say, hose bibs, that sort of stuff. Just use a little bit of conduit. Use conduit also for any of your communications lines, like your cable TV, your internet, or your phone. And then also for any duct lines. You don't want to stick any duct through the wall without any protection around it. It's just too thin and it can collapse. So you're going to want to put a piece of conduit in place to either run the duct through it or you just have that conduit in place and you pour your concrete and then you just beat the conduit out. And if you are going to beat the conduit out, I would suggest wrapping that pipe with something like wax paper and then put some duct tape around it to keep it in place. That way it's a lot easier to slide in and out after that concrete has been placed. But for any penetrations through your walls that are going to be below grade, below that dirt level, I would suggest putting those pipes in prior to filling with concrete. I wouldn't want to drill any of them. You get a much tighter seal against that pipe if the pipe is there prior to the, the walls being filled. The only places that I have gotten any leaks are ones that are below grade and I had to drill through. Those can be very tough to seal up. When it comes to your water line, one of the best things that you can do is actually put a conduit through the wall. So in this case, I had my inch and a quarter pipe that actually goes out to my well. It runs through this conduit pipe, which is just a two inch piece. And then I have rubber couplings on both sides to seal it. Now this tip comes directly from my plumber on how to do this and how to keep it a nice watertight seal. Just remember, anything that is in the wall before it is poured and then it is poured generally stays sealed to that concrete. But if you have to actually drill a hole through the wall, you're gonna have a heck of a time getting it sealed. And as you can see right here, I did spray foam around this. I cut the hole just a little bit big, so spray foam around it so that no concrete or movement could happen with the pipe. As you can see, I'm in a basement, therefore I have sump pumps. So best thing you can do is pipe that out above grade, so above your dirt level. That's the easiest thing to do. I still ran a pipe through the wall and then just adapted to it to get the water out. And remember, it's a sump pump, so you want it to run out, therefore you want just a slight downgrade on the pipe through the wall. And as you can see here, that's my electrical coming into the house. Again, I just stubbed the pipe through that was the electrical conduit and then cut it to length and connected it after everything was placed. Here's my other sump pump. I have a pretty good sized house, so I stuck two sump pumps in here just in case one failed. I have them on opposite corners of the house and again, it goes out of the house. I place this pipe through the wall prior to pouring and uh, it kind of looks like it's pretty low but the back of the house is view out so that's actually pretty normal. And then this is one of my fresh air intakes and all I did with that was take a four inch piece of schedule 40 and placed it in the wall. And then once the concrete was placed, we just beat out that four inch piece of PVC and put the duct work through it. Here's another one of my fresh air systems. I have two geothermal systems, so I ended up having to do two fresh airs. And then right there is one of my bath exhaust fans for the basement. I have two bathrooms down here, so I had to do two of these as well. Something you don't want to forget. You can see the, a water line going through right there. I ended up just drilling that. And then down here, you can see my geothermal pipes going through the wall. They are actually below grade. And I ended up drilling those as well. However, if I would have had the pipe prior to pouring, I would have placed these in the wall and then 
poured the concrete, I would have gotten a much, much better seal. These ended up sealing pretty well. I think I did a pretty good job on the waterproofing, but with my other system, I actually get a little bit of weeping through it. Here's another one of my water lines that's poked through. I drilled this one as well. It is technically above grade, goes to a water spigot outside. But regardless, I don't think I'd recommend placing the water pipe through the block prior to pouring. I, I kind of like the idea of being able to easily pull this back out if something happens or I need to replace something. The pipe penetrations do not have to be tough. I suggest just keeping everything very, very simple. Use simple tools, but always plan, 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 plan. The more you do up front, the better off you're going to be. You're going to save time, you're going to save energy, and you're probably going to save money. So put in that time up front. You're going to thank yourself later, and you're going to have a much better result at the end of this. Hey guys, go ahead and hit that like button down below, as well as subscribe for more great content like this. I'll see you next time.